Rescue mission day 10. Yesterday was weird. Yesterday wasn't yesterday, it was yesternight. Because it was the first time that we were able to explore this beautiful planet that I call home under the cover of darkness. Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. I, and by that I meant copy that, Captain. That is the catchphrase that we use. Dash, professional spelunker from the home planet of Fluky. He's known, uh, sorry, that's the wrong voice. He's known for saying, you can, only fi you can always find me in the pits. He'll take a le the leap into any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. Pass. Our work doesn't end here. It is our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Unless it's really stupid. In which case, we don't. <laughs> I had the weirdest dream. I'm not going to tell you about it at all, unless I do. Can I t tell you about it? What was your dream? I consider myself real lucky to have a scientific genius like Russ around. There is just one problem. I have no idea what he is talking about half the time. I find it just best to nod approvingly. It seems to make him feel really saucy. If there's anything you don't understand or want to know, just ask away. Unlike myself, who Aww. will you lead by example by not doing that exact thing that I just suggested you do? Rules for me, r rules for thee and not for me. I'm not gonna talk to you today. Instead, I'm gonna look for the person that I just rescued. I have no idea where they, where, wait, where are they? Where, where actually are they? Hello? Where did you go? Hello? Wow, I've been drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. My life's quite precious to me. Thanks for helping. After all, I can only poke around in the caves if I'm still alive, right? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe thanks to my family's deep pockets. The captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't expo go explore any caves. Oh, hey, I just got the best idea. Starting right now, I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only pupil. I need you to explore the caves around this planet on my behalf. You will have to make it through all of them, the w all of them, all the way to the exits. I see you've already made your way through several caves. I would like to, I would expect no less from my star and only people. Here is 30 d d bits of plastic. Your attitude, I like the way you take these caves on so enthusiastically. It's like when I first discovered the underground world. Please tell me every detail about the creatures here. <laughs> With this little darling around, outer space's power problems are solved. These generate enough electricity to light up the night and help people live comfortably in the most ragingly hot or frigidly cold planets. It'll cost to feed them, but that's a minor detail. Okay, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. <clears throat> Creep creeping chrysanthemum. Oh, it's this is the creeping chrysanthemum. I suppose that makes sense. The Pikmin 2 creeping chrysanthemums kind of just looked like Ocarina of Time dead hands. I mean, look at them, really. They're weird. Let's have a creeping, a, sorry, a creeping chrysanthemum show, why don't we? We'll gather hand-raised creeping chrysanthemums and have a contest based on size, flower color, color, things like that. They're half animals, so maybe a behavior category too. Of course, how could the judges ever choose a winner? Each specimen is so beautiful in its own way. It's the enemy we never saw the attack of, and I have no idea how they work. This pe peculiar little button has the perfect texture and colorization to pass as an egg fried sunny side up by a master chef. There's nothing qu about it that makes it seem threatening, and yet it looks so yummy. I can't help thinking about a, of a, a delicious breakfast when I see it. The Foolix! 
Thank you, Nintendo. I love this game. If you take up the microorganisms I used to peer at through my microscope as a child and blow them up much, much bigger, this is what you get. A huge, single-celled... <laughs> Sweetie! It blorpily slashes around in search of food to this giant, we're the microorganisms. It possesses a bottomless stomach and will swallow down anything and everything unfortunate enough to end up in its path. It will even consume things much larger than its own body without missing a step. The best part is its goofy little head that looks just like fuzz-covered gourds. In a way, it looks kind of like a tasty treat. Or perhaps... A deliciously juicy burger. But in actuality, this burning bivalve relative is a fierce hunter, squashing its prey with a fiery flourish. The beauty of its popping, crackling flames and the dynamic cartwheels it can perform in battle is a, spe a spectacle to behold. <laughs> the shell cake family? I like it. I like it. Only it. None of its relatives. I married it, not its mom! Moving on. <laughs> How could you possibly pull yourself away? Soon you will be mine, King of Bugs. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's a bomb that explodes when it detects motion from living things. Plus, it's kind of sticky. Tr try attaching one to a creature. Oh, we didn't really take these. I, d I just realized that these are freebies. This life-saving kit auto-replenishes your HP. You should always keep one equipped. Then you can focus on rescuing. Hi. It's a super food that re I keep rolling my L's. Ochi's HP! Give him lots of these and even more belly rubs! It's the least you can do! <laughs> I'm grabbing the homesick signal. It's gonna- it's going to save me from some scares. It's correct. I'm also going to invest in some thermal defense. We're- I can't get this stuff all at once, and we're going to have some really bad moments if I- if I don't start investing in my own defense. It's more than the damage I take, it's the fact that this kind of stuff stuns me, and my Pikmin will be dying while I'm stunned. We're going to avoid that. Now that we're cashed out... Riba, riba, riba. Oh! Yeah, I think we I think we gotta do a little bit more night exploration. I'd love to go back to go back to an actual area, but we've stacked up these Dandori captains. They've suffered long enough, they're unconscious, and we're only going to get more. In fact, there was one that I missed last or two days ago. Um, I could have gone and challenged uh, the mysterious captain and his dog, whoever could they be, and I just didn't think of it. So there that's yet another captain we could be rescuing. Let's go. Hey, there you are. Are you not supposed to be out collecting glow sap? Do you have another thing for me? These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Is there another one? There is. We can do multiple challenges. The rugged scaffold. Let's do it. Yeah, let's let's do it. I'm, I'm ready to learn more about this mechanic. I'm excited for it. It's a br this entire game is a breath of fresh air. I'm there. I don't think there's been a single thing about this game that I've really disliked. And it's let's take a more positive tone than that. A more ca cup half full type type tone with that. I so far like everything about this game. 
So, there's something else I forgive I figured out about the glow Pikmin. As you can see, the glow Pikmin emit very powerful light. You can use X to gather your glow Pikmin until they meld together and form one large glowing ball. Release them all at once, and it creates a luminous and literally stunning effect, which I call a glow mob. One flash of that overpowering light, and you will witness all kinds of creatures c cowering o under its dazzling glow. Uh, and also, oh wait. Oh, alright. Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night. I, I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. Oh, I totally forgot about the pack. I saw that the other episode, and I realized I've never used the thing. First, select a glow seed from your pack. Oh! Pikmin on the go! When you throw it, it, it will instantly create a glow Pikmin. Of course, they only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. I love that. That's amazing! I love that! Uh, and also, we, we have a couple things to work through. Last episode, yesterday, I, I forgot to use some of my abilities. I just want to reacquaint myself with them. Pick the carrots, I'm kind of met on. I don't know why. I'll probably use them at some point. Bomb rocks, anything new? No. I also need to be using Ultra Spicy Spray because they kind of hand it out like candy in this game. But bomb rocks, pick, and car pick the carrots, I need to remember. And then if I hold, my, hold this and go to my pack... I can select everything that I haven't assigned to a hotkey. That's good to know. Although I don't think that was a hotkey assignable thing. Okay. Um, let's let's use some of them just just to use them. I'll use two. Alright. That makes sense, and then they teleport to me. Neat. Uh and now let's let's get to our day. I'm sorry. Our night. Haha. <laughs> the goal is to beat enemies and I should probably want to. I should probably be uh, playing a little bit more proactively by killing enemies before they turn rabid. Get him! Get him! Come on! Come on! Get out of the way! Oh, this has a very long cooldown. All right, that's scary. Go! Ow! That's a lot of damage. Well, let's kite him. We haven't lost one so far. And he's dead. But there are probably more enemies headed our way. No, nope, good so far. We're fine so far. I'm really just trying to head things off at the pass. Can I jump up there? Yeah, I can. There's a, a bulborb trying to figure out his way over. And looks like he has. Looks like he's his eyes are red. Here he comes across the bridge. I only have 15. Uh, actually, whoa, 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 whoa. Pack. I need some more. Okay. Get ready to stun him. Get him. Kill him. Good job. All right, moving on. I only need one on that. This is this is such a cool mode. It's such a, a weird way to play the game. It almost feels like um, I don't know why I'm getting Red Dead Redemption vibes from this. I I really don't know, but or not Red Dead. Or, why did I say that? Left for Dead. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is AOE. Good. Kill one of them. The other one did not get stunned. But the other one can't really do anything. Oh, he kind of can. Ochi, 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 I really didn't mean to send you in. Get out of the way. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Uh, Ochi, eat that. Good job, buddy. You guys all take those. Is the base fine, Ochi? Oh, it's not fine. Go, go! Go! That's not a ton of damage. It's fine. Kill him. And the day is almost over. 
Oh, there's another one? Hi. That is... There are a lot of enemies here. Ochi, what are you doing? Ochi, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Come on, come on, Pikmin. Ready? Kamehame! Kill him. What are you doing? Join the join the fracas. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that it? Was that it? Oh, that was it. Wow. These are so quick. I almost wonder if I should be doing one of these and then immediately going into a day. Because that's not a full episode. I mean, I guess I read a little bit more of this episode, so that's fine. You put in the effort out... You put in the effort out there. New blood. Was it enough effort? I feel like I... I don't know. It was so quick. I didn't perform as well as I wanted. Now we can make the cure. I guess it makes sense that these take up a day because obviously Jeff needs to sleep, so he's just working the night shift. I did it! The metrics by which I complete these are odd to me because I didn't feel like I performed that well, but I, I guess I did. And we'll be able to cure yet another, another captain. And we got nine seeds. So these these missions reward us with glow seeds that al allow us to have more Pikmin in caves. But these Pikmin have no elemental strengths, but they can teleport back to us, and they have the glow attack. I I'm getting them down. I'm getting them down. Good work. Looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you venture out, you can go wherever you would like to collect glow sap. The search for our pilot starts in earnest now as well. Rescue as many leaflings as you can. Let us cure them all. So, um, uh, about that. Let's, uh, Jeff, stop and think for a hot minute here, okay, Jeff? It's possible Bernard hasn't been turned into a leafling yet, Jeff. What do you mean? I mean, Colin. I spent a lot of time thinking about it, Colin. Yeah, that leafling with the dog was chasing me, Colin. And yes, that's when I realized Bernard had disappeared. But that's not all. Colin, Jeff, uh, Captain, and Dingo, myself, that's that's me. What I'm saying here is that I never actually saw him turn into a leafling or, or anything, guys. What? Oh, interesting. Then, um, is it possible that... He is one of the ones I have consumed. Uh -huh. Look, at the very least, Colin, if we uh, catch that leafling, Colin, we might be able to get a, a lead on Bernard's whereabouts, oh. Colin. I see. Okay, the search for that leafling is your top priority. Jeff. Understood. Oh, all right. That concludes this emergency meeting. Let us get to it in the morning, which is right now. Jeff, y you should probably not sleep. Uh, you're really the only person that is doing anything here. We're just kind of eating potato chips and playing uh, hopscotch, and you are not invited because we need somebody to pull our weight around here. So, Piccolo, what brings you to my neighborhood? Well, I am pretty disturbing. Remember that time I drank that guy? That was freaking weird. No, no, no. That was another guy. His name was Shit Sherlock. First name, no. And three. I need you to pay attention on this one. Ah! Ah, uh, and three. That is how I power the beautiful temple that is my body. Oh, I'm a monster. Haven't heard that one screamed at me today. Of all people, bleh. Oh, that is just embarrassing. It's not even the right hole. Ah, uh, well. No, 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 it's just... You're the first person to ask who or what. Normally they just ask, why?